Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this is a video rebuttal to the Young Turks Loser Donald, number Loser Donald, why don't we use nukes? And I stumbled across this video, and there's a big controversy regarding Donald Trump that uh, he's asking, you know, why, why don't we use nuclear weapons. I actually, I've been asking the same thing for quite some time. Uh, why don't we use nuclear weapons to try to deter, you know, in combat if we have to? And it's a good question. Now, you've seen the spread of ISIS. I've stated before that when we saw what ISIS was doing and how they're growing, we should have gone in with something called a battlefield nuke. Uh, this site's not cooperating very well, but uh, that's a Davy Crockett. It was an old field nuke that they had back in the I think in the 50s, if I'm not mistaken, these are mainly designed to kill by radiation. But going back to the Young Turks, what the Young Turks were saying is that basically Trump would be a loose cannon and you just launch our strategic nukes. That's an absurd claim. Now, this is all campaign rhetoric anyway. I don't care who the politician is, they usually don't do what they say they're going to do, except in Obama's case, he really has assembled clandestinely an army of a civilian army, basically. What? All these Muslims coming in, the illegals, think they are in a civilian army? Well, anyway. So, here we have the young Turks basically defaming the Donald. Uh, Donald talks more like a common pe person will talk. This is why we like him so much. This is why I like him so much. Talks like a common person and doesn't talk down at us or anything like that. But what good are these weapons? I'm not talking about the big city busters, I'm talking about battlefield nuclear weapons. What good are they if we don't use them? You just got a point. Paul, the late Paul Harvey used to say the same thing. Now, A battlefield nuclear weapon, they, they're able to make them so small they can put them in an artillery shell. And basically, they kill mainly by radiation, not by a big uh, explosion or anything. That would have been ideal for use on ISIS when they're smaller, when we had them bunched up. I mean, we let them just sit there on that road. What was it? I think Mosul. They had trucks and armored vehicles lined up for miles and miles. We did nothing. That would have been easy picking, even with uh, conventional weapons. One Aegis cruiser. You can fire the uh, tomahawks and blast them off the road, and then it launches a helicopter and picks off the survivors. We did nothing. Which means Obama, Obama loves ISIS. I believe him to be a Shiite. Well, look at his dealings with Iran. And paying a ransom to them and all that. Yes, it's a ransom. They're lying about it. It's actually, $400 million was only one down payment. It's something like $1.6 billion or something. Some huge number that we're paying to him. Of course, it's a ransom. Anybody with any common sense would know that. 
They have all the evidence anyway. I don't want to get too far off target, but uh, there are situations where we might have to use nukes. And I would remind the young Turks that Obama has been provoking Putin and Putin has been talking about using nukes on us. As a matter of fact, they actually started in shrub years. As a, as a matter of fact, during the one Syrian flare-up, the first one, their field commanders had permission to use nukes if they thought it was necessary. They had permission right there in the field. That's not good. Now, we have a schlub in the White House who won't do anything to protect us. I mean, if the Russians invaded us tomorrow, he probably, wouldn't, he probably wouldn't even do anything about it. It would be the civilian population fighting back. I don't know. Obama is something else again. He's a radicalized Muslim. He's probably Shiite. And of course, he made that fake deal with Iran. Not good. If he don't get us in a war with Putin, then we'll be damn lucky. So, you young church. You're so worried about Trump. All this is rhetoric. It's meaningless. I wouldn't take nukes off the table at all. But we're not talking about pushing buttons and blowing up half the cities in the world. We're talking about more local skirmishes like uh, during the Afghan war when we had Tora Bora, our people were pushed back there because they had out numbered or something that's the kind of situation that would be a good candidate for a nuclear weapon dropping right in their laps and frying the bastards but sending them to hell at any rate that's my rant i disagree sharply with young turks these are liberals they have the mental disorder of liberalism. They think that Trump's going to blow up the entire world. That's insane. He's a businessman. He's putting people in place. He's assembling his team, from what I understand, and he's going to, if he gets elected, he's going to try to revitalize our economy, cut taxes, and probably cut regulations, too. He's more of a conservative than a liberal. He has some liberal leanings, yes, but I think Donald's the right one for the job. And yes, I want him to be in control of our nukes. Uh, Hillary's behavior has been increasingly erratic, as known by Alex Jones, and that's not good. They think that maybe uh, that concussion she had is causing her problems. Well, there you go. This is my video rebuttal to Young Turks. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.